How's it going guys? Today I'm going to film part one of my America haul. America. What I'm going to have to do is do it in two parts because I got a butt ton of stuff from Sephora. So part two will be makeup and that kind of jazz, like all the benefit cosmetics, the new benefit stuff that came out, all the stuff I got from Sephora. Today is going to be like clothing, bags, souvenir crap, all that good stuff. If we get enough thumbs up on today's video, actually I hate when people do that. <laughs> I'm just going to put the second one up tomorrow anyway. Who am I kidding? But yeah, the second one will be up tomorrow, but you can still like the video if you want. I mean, it's up to you. So, the first place I went, American Apparel. All right, my landlord's gonna do some weed eating, so <laughs> he's literally just whipping around the house, so it's gonna be like a minute of noise. I'm really sorry if you guys can hear that, but life is busy, so I gotta keep going. <laughs> yeah, we went to the Las Vegas Premium Outlets, and they had American Apparel, obviously, and tons of the other places that I'm gonna show you what all in there, like Michael Kors and all that kind of good stuff. So I popped into American Apparel, everyone else was naked, they all just sat outside. I was that annoying person that went in and tried on like 10 things. But I love American Apparel, I wish they had it in New Zealand. So I picked up three of these skirts because they were only $9 each, down from like 60 something. That's not why I got them, but I was really interested in getting one. And I saw they were $9 and I was like, oh! I could buy all three colors with this price. It's going into autumn winter here, so I won't be wearing them probably that much in the near future. Although my friend is having a 90s themed flat warming, so I could wear them to that. And I did wear um, this yellow one here to one of the benefit events, because I packed really terribly and I did not have a lot of clothes to wear. But I wore this. Some people didn't really like it. I think the high-waisted style isn't much of a thing overseas, but in New Zealand and Australia, a lot of our clothing is high-waisted. This one would actually go really nice with this top, wouldn't it? I also picked up these two crop tops from there. This one is the one I tried on. It's very 70s print. It's not often I find patterns that really appeal to me. I'm quite a plain clothes person. But these ones are really different and kind of retro, I really like the patterns. And you kind of wrap it around the bottom, so you can wrap it so that it hides your bra, but you can still kind of see some cleavage. It's definitely more of a going out kind of top, I wouldn't wear this every day. But this is the one I tried on, and this one's quite like a stretchy fabric, so I could really hide my bra fine. And I was like, oh okay, like yeah, got the boobies out, but it's alright. It's hiding my bra. Um, and then this one I wore with that yellow skirt to the benefit event. This one's not really stretchy, so it kept kind of sliding open and showing my bra, which was just a nude strapless bra, so it didn't really matter, but it was a little bit irritating. I don't know if you guys saw vlogs from that night, I'm constantly like, eh, eh, like trying to get the puppies in. And the very last top I picked up from American Apparel is this kind of, I don't know what you'd call this, it's like a blouse. Oh, he's getting close. I should probably stop for a little bit. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a blouse, but I suppose it's just a collared shirt because it's quite a stiff kind of fabric. Something about this just spoke to me on the rack. I don't usually go for mint green, but I was like, this would look so cool with like some ripped jeans. And I was like, okay, I'll try it on. There's no way this color will suit me, but because I actually had a fake tan on, it looked bomb. It looked so cool with my hair in a tan. But as you guys know, I'm fake tan like half the time and pale half the time. So when I am tanned, I can definitely wear this baby. Might be a guide shirt, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't support labeling, like gender labeling on clothes. If I like a guide shirt, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I've left the price on. This one was actually the most expensive. It was $35 down from 74. So still a good deal, but everything else I got was very cheap. I think those shirts were about $12. Next place I went to was Michael Kors. I actually really was hoping they would have jewelry there. I've ended up since ordering some jewelry online off Macy's because they shipped to New Zealand now, which is like, oh, amazing. I did pick up a new bag. I was definitely swayed to get this bag by Shannon because you guys know me, I always go for black and gold. And I kept like staring at it in the mirror on myself. I tried a few other bags. I kept coming back to it and I was like, actually, I really trust your opinion on this one. I think it's a really nice bag. So I think I'm gonna sell my Ted Baker bag and then I'll just have my bag from Colette in this bag. I don't have any like hard out designer bags. So it's quite a big purchase for me. The price is inside I think, so I'll show you it soon, but I'll we'll show you, tell you the price soon. This is the bag here. It is baby pink. It has Michael Kors right here, and it's got Michael Kors on the zip, because it's by Michael Kors. And all the hardware is gold, which I really, really liked. And funny story actually, I picked it up just as this really sweet girl kind of went to go for it too, but not in a mean way, I just got it and she was kind of like, oh okay. I didn't want to put it down because she was like getting the staff to come and be like, do you have another bag like this? 
and they were like oh there's more bags over here and there was more pink bags just like the style but they all had silver hardware and she was like no and her family were coming over to me and like taking photos of me with the bag and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> they really want this bag and it made me not want to put it down and then even the staff were like oh my gosh you've got one with gold hardware I didn't even know we stocked those like all our ones are silver hardware oh that's such a cool bag like I wish I saw that bag and stuff and I was like oh no everyone wants it I was like no it's in my bag now oh I think it was actually 50% off that's right so their price they've written is 258 US but I believe it was 50% off. There might be a receipt in this bag. So this was already an outlet price there for 258 US. But then they had a 50% off store wide sale as well. So it was $129 US. I haven't used it yet because I've been waiting to film this video. I also bought the like bag spray stuff. Let me know if this is just a con or not. But the lady talked me into it because it is such a pastel colour. She was like you should really get the stain repellent spray because it might rub up on your jeans and then it would get ruined and so I was like okay it's called rain and stain repellent and I think you just spray your bag with it and leave it for 24 hours <laughs> have any of you guys done this I'm kind of scared because I don't want to like ruin the bag I'm sure it would be fine if they sell it but yeah I got this too so thank you Shannon for that extra push to go out of my comfort zone and buy a colored bag and I keep telling her I'm like you're the opposite to me you need to buy a black bag because she's all about the colored bag she doesn't own any black bags I was actually eyeing up the wallets at Michael Kors but I knew they had a Ted Baker outlet stores and this matches my old one in terms of card space so it's not necessarily better but I still really love it by the way here's the box if you were wondering I just knew I didn't want to get one with less card space and the one from Michael Kors did have less card space my Ted Baker red wallet lasted me well it's still fine like I could still keep using it I've had it for about four years I got it first year of uni and it's basically this kind of vinyl fabric but it's red red isn't really a color I wear very often or really love all that much I like red but not really for accessories so I was on the hunt for something black and gold surprise surprise cube gems and then a gold clasp you look from above it's actually in the shape of a bow it's just like my other wallet in terms of the design of it so it's got a little pocket at the back which is great for cards you don't use so often but you still kind of need to have on you and then it opens up and it's an amazing like pastel pink shade on the inside I love this color kind of goes actually with my new bag doesn't it oh, I didn't even plan that so this is obviously brand spanking new I don't know why this was in the outlet store because it's beautiful maybe they just made too many for how many sold and this was 149 actually no it was even cheaper it was $89 American and keep in mind my Ted Baker that I got from Bruno Mart was I think 300 and something so worth saving and waiting to go to the states to buy these sorts of things because you really do get a massive saving if you're from New Zealand this is probably my favorite overall purchase I absolutely love it also in the premium outlets mall place was a guest store but obviously I just got my brand new bag and my brand new wallet and I was chuffed with life did not think I would be buying another bag so soon but you guys may know I don't know how much you like stalk my life probably not at all I have a Mimco clutch purse which is what I use for like evenings if I'm going out and then I have a really cheap body bag from Cotton On which kind of looks like this but not as nice it was like 10 bucks probably like five years ago and I still just kept it because I just use it for like really casual shopping days or whatever when I don't want to wear a big handbag and I don't want to take my Mimco clutch this is more of an evening kind of clutch purse and it has a strap which is good because my Mimco clutch has like a wrist strap but it doesn't actually go over your body so this is a guest bag black and gold but of course and guess how much this was $29.99 $29.99 so cheap guest bags from farmers in New Zealand are like in the hundreds easily so I was chuffed with this it says guest hair in gold all the detailing is gold again that really nice kind of vinyl black that I love it's actually got six card holders inside the bag so if you're going to town going out for a few wines with your girlfriends or whatever you can just pop your ID and cards and stuff in the actual bag without having to take a card holder or a little wallet and everything you need is in one spot so I absolutely love this I was not planning on buying another bag so soon but it was such a good price I was like I'm only in America once gotta pick this bad boy up so that was awesome I put these back on the little thing for the sake of the video but I've been wearing these like pretty much every day since I got them I love me some hoops. Now who did I see wearing hoops? 
It was my friend Georgia. I saw her wearing hoops when she came around for drinks at our house. And I was like, oh, I love those hoops. I was watching Gina Marbles the other day and she had really cool hoop earrings. And I was like, you know what I need to get are some hoops. And she was like, I bought hoops because of Gina Marbles too. And I was like, wow, Gina Marbles must be rocking her hoops because she's like starting a hoops trend. But yeah, I got these. I absolutely love them. I wore them one time as graduation day and heaps of you commented on some photos that I posted being like, I love your hoop earrings, girlfriend. I would have bought these from anywhere. It doesn't make a difference to me that they're from Guess. I think they're probably just like cheap jewelry anyway. These were $14.99, but they were just a really good size for what I wanted. I wanted like some big ass hoops. So lots of stuff I bought was presents. Should have kind of kept them, but I saw my family and stuff straight when I got back. So I wanted to give them their presents right away. I got a Nemo toy for Tama and I got myself the Pascal toy. So excited. So cool. I feel like Rapunzel right now. And at last I see the light. If you guys did watch my Vegas vlogs, you will have seen how stoked with life I was when I found this. I wanted to buy one of these at Disneyland, but it was the next best thing going to the Disney store. I was like in heaven. So yeah, I got Tama and Nemo because it's his favorite animated movie and I got myself a Pascal. The next place I went to was called Marshalls and I had never heard of the store, but Janessa, who is our Benefit Cosmetics rep, was like, oh, we should go in there because they have really good outlet stuff that's, you know, sometimes designer and it's really cheap. So I was like, sounds good to me. And I actually managed to find two pairs of shoes there. It's only really since I've started going to more events and stuff that I've realized like I need to up my shoe game and get some more shoes. I have a couple of heels that are really comfy and I just always wear them, but I wear them in like every event vlog, so I really needed to get some new shoes. The first shoes I got were actually a pair of wedges. They're like cork wedges. I don't own anything like this. I just saw these and I envisioned them with my white distressed jeans and like a blouse and a like slouchy kind of jacket and I was just like, oh, that would look so cool. I don't own any like casual attire wedges. I only have clubbing wedges and wedges are really a big thing in America and I was seeing a lot of girls wearing cute wedges it really inspired me to try some out for myself so these are a good height for me because I am 5'10 they're not like a giant and they're actually Michael Kors which was really funny I love the Michael Kors logo it was the only pair they had there and they just happened to be in my size I was just like this is a sign from God whenever I see these sitting there in my cupboard when I open it I'm just like I love you guys these were 45 which is still like kind of pricey but then again the shoes in New Zealand even from like Hannah's and Shoe Connection and stuff are like 70 80 dollars easily so actually not that much for I don't know if Michael Kors is considered designer but it's definitely like the most designer kind of brand I buy I don't buy like Louis Vuitton and stuff because like I can't afford that shit these were only 19.99 and again they only had one in my size I've worn these already and they're so comfortable they didn't even give me blisters the only other leather boots I have are very like low heeled and they're all covered you know they're more for like proper practical boots Whereas these you could wear out clubbing or something. They're by the brand Soda. I don't know if it's a good brand at all, but they feel really nice and sturdy. Gold detailing, of course. My favorite pairing with black. And the cool thing about these is it's like a cheat. You don't even have to zip it up because they felt grow up. Life hack. Right before we went to the airport, I also managed to quickly, quickly, quickly sneak into Bath and Body Works, which was so exciting. Oh man, I wish I could have bought some full-size candles, but our luggage was already like so full. Plus, that's really heavy to travel internationally with. But I did get a couple of baby candles. They were like three for something. Okay, that's the four receipt. Oh girl, that's long. They had lots of minis there, so I was in my element. I got this mini hand sanitizer. It's called Stress Relief. It's got a... a <laughs> I was like a eucalyptus it's got eucalyptus and spearmint and it's just a little antibacterial hand gel it's kind of minty but once you actually put it on your hands it smells really bad so that was kind of a bad life choice and then I got three candles the receipts not in here but I think it was three for twelve dollars you guys would probably know if you're from America so feel free to correct me but I got watermelon lemonade it's very cute sweet watermelon like if you guys have the watermelon smelly belly from mousse <laughs> it smells like that I also got this one, it's got a really nice ornate top to it. It's called Amsterdam Spring Tulips and it smells like a fresh clean home. There's lots of random stuff in this bag too, like I've got my Lumi. Benefit gave this to me, it was like on our beds when we arrived along with a ton of other cool stuff. And I was so stoked because these are really big on Instagram right now but 
it was cool when we were like snapchatting when we were out clubbing and stuff I could just like chuck it on and you could actually see our faces it's very very handy they also got me this cool mini suitcase look how cool it is uh -huh. and it's got poker chips in it <laughs> It's just really weird to see your face on them, but they are really cute. These were also on our bed. Look how epic these are. Tama was really jealous. He tried these on. He was like, those are cool, but his feet were too big for them. I also got this cool Vegas keychain. I bought these for all my friends and family. They didn't have one with Tama's name on it, so I had to get him one that said sexy. But they had like my mum and dad's names and stuff, but yeah, it was just funny. His name's never on anything. Oh, and if you're wondering, this was from the gift store in New York, New York, by the like roller coaster, which we went on and died slightly. Last place I went was the Coca-Cola store. Oh, this is another magnet I got from a gift store in New York, New York. It's like a little poker chip. I got a few more magnets too from the Coca-Cola store. This one's actually a bottle opener as well, which is kind of cool. I got it for Tama, but we have the same fridge so I kind of got it for myself as well it's red glitter and it says Las Vegas coca-cola and it's handy so double win there and then I also got this little one just because it was pretty I'm not much of a coke drinker myself but my dad loves his diet coke so when I do get a coca-cola I always get Diet Coke because that's the taste I'm used to, if that makes sense. So Diet Coke's my favorite type of Coke. Also got these cute little glasses. I think they might be shot glasses. I just love them because my parents have like the full size, these glasses, but a bigger proportion. So when I saw them in small form, I was like, ah. Oh. And, but of course, I had to get these mini Coca-Cola earrings. I was struggling with life in my vlog. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. And I'd actually had it before in Japan where I kept seeing stuff I really loved and I was like you don't need that don't get it and then by the time I got home I had like nothing from Japan like no souvenirs so I kind of learned from that and I was like you know what you actually love these and you actually probably will wear them so just get them <laughs> I'm so glad I got them they were probably one of the pricier things I got from the coke store they were $18 but they're proper little earrings you could really wear these and they're quite weighty too they're kind of filled up with metal I believe but they're very realistic they've got little Diet Coke logo on them and a little like pop top and everything. So that is everything in my part one Las Vegas slash America haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably gonna be really long but YOLO. Who doesn't love a long haul right? A long haul? A long haul flight? So part two will be up tomorrow. I'm gonna film it this afternoon. Have a fabulous rest of the day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! Is the music started? Can I make a... <laughs> I'm gonna hear the word, I heard that because Drake had a pause. Oh. Can you not? Drake! Lady Matingo. We'll see.